Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to Super Mario Bros. 3. We did Mario Bros. 1 and 2 in both the NES variety and the All-Stars variety. So now it's time for this one, which is quite a bit longer than those two. But it's also the one that's everybody's favorite. And, uh, we're gonna do no warp whistles. Every world, because it's been a while. Too bad we can't play as Snobeege. There's probably a code that lets you do that, but... I actually did a randomizer of this game not too long ago. Well, maybe like two years ago. Can't remember if I did every level in that, or if I used warp whistles. But it doesn't matter, we're doing all the levels now. And then we will do the All-Stars variety, and I'm not sure if I'll do all levels there as well. Or if by that point I'll be like, okay, it took too long. Time to use the whistles. The whistles go woo-woo! Remember that Bub Rub video? That was weird. Man, I haven't played this since like 19... 42, I don't know what it was. Well, uh, the randomizer, I guess that counts. Forgot about the music cutting out. Oh yeah, there's three! Didn't they add an extra coin or two to give it a tail? Like a raccoon tail in the All-Stars thing, or is that in my head? I don't know, but I got a star. Which is the easiest one to catch, you stupid dope. World 2. Or Stage 2. It's pretty grassy. This is the grassland after all. Oh yeah, I forgot about the, the graphics clipping on the edges of the screen. I forgot that was a thing that happens all the time. Hmm. I'm playing this on the Switch, the little NES thingy. Had my way, Goomber. Trying to come ruin my day. And then this dude. Eh, he's no problem. Don't, don't pop out. Okay. Like the extra beats added to the underground theme in this game is very nice. So nice, in fact, that they made it a staple henceforth. Is that the right use of that word? I don't know, but I'm sliding on my butt. Mm-hmm. The star. Why would you go left, so Tom? This is my favorite part, the little cool somersault that he does. Double stars, oh yeah. Yeah, it's like the easiest one to get if you're running top speed and you jump as soon as you seem to be able to reach the thing, you're guaranteed a star. So it's those triple mushies and fire flowers that are actually the challenging thing. Hey, remember this stage? In my Mario Maker 2 level, I incorporated this level and something from World 3. I fused the two stages. I got the coin heaven thing here, but I don't want to do that really right now. I want to hear that song. I do remember that from the randomizer, that coin heaven music just kept popping up everywhere and it got so annoying. <laughs> ah yes, the warp whistle block. This is where my Mario Maker stage end to mimic the holding down, but we're not gonna do it. Sorry toad behind the bush. Here we go, triple stars. Isn't it nice? What is it, five, seven? Five. Yeah, five with that weird extra hook that goes a little taller than the rest. What are we gonna get? Mushroom, fire flower, or leaf? You can't get stars in here, right? They're only from the Hammer Bros, I think. We got a mushy. Well, that's fine. That's actually pretty ideal. Yeah, why not? We'll do four. I won't skip anything. In stages like these, there should be a bonus for dancing. Like for every press along with the beat, you should get points. And that'll make a music ship appear instead of the coin ship. I wonder if we'll see one of those. What's the requirement for that? I don't remember. It's like the digits of your timer, your coins, and your score have to be something crazy. I only ever got them accidentally. I never actually tried. Clearly, because I don't even know the requirements. Oh yeah, it's been about a week since I did the Mario 1 and 2 stuff. Just lots of medical things going on, and then I did, uh... I was working on that 64 retro levels that have endless replay value video that I did. I got a minor burst of excitement about that and wanted to get it done. 
I mean, it's like all I did for a couple days was just work on that video. So hopefully it's all right. I don't know. The mush. Oh yeah. I don't know about that one. Not nope, the mushroom fangs. Whistle in the castle. Are we gonna get it? No, sir. This is where you would do it. I messed it up already. Ah, uh, yeah, you gotta run at that other part. Although you could run from here, too, and still get it after you get this guy. But I will. Yeah, it's been a very weird week. I just had probably the strangest medical thing I've ever had to do, Dawn. And I'm waiting for the doctor to call me back with results. I got an online copy of the results, but it's not like a doctor's opinion, it's just the raw results and what they suspect is the issue. But they kicked me out of that place with a piece of paper being like, oh yeah, the end game. I don't remember these, there's one, I know there's like stars in the corners. Yeah. And then fire flower up here. Okay, this is the one I remember, I think. Star here. Oh crap, where's the mushroom? No. Is it bottom row? Yes, it is. Ah, crud. That's right, the one up. Well, yeah, that's probably the only pattern that I vaguely remember. I forget how many varieties. Isn't there only like three or four? Five, maybe? Oh, yeah, this is. Yeah, do you feel on this thing? Grassland, this is the point where we feel it. Let's do the coin thing, why not? So close to a one-up, and there's the bonus one-up. All right, enough dancing. There's one, let's get the run-up. Yay! I guess. <laughs> Is it as exciting as it used to be? I don't know. But we're doing it. Sliding on, sliding on my pot, waiting for the fire. Will we get a second mushroom? We gotta, like, dance a little. Oh my gosh! You know, what is that, two up? It should be more. Nah, it's all fine. Whatever. Do you remember this stage? Of course we do. Oh, that was terrible. I'm supposed to hit that box with the shell. That John Denver's full of shit, man. I thought the grassland would be more grassier than this. Whatever, you're so dumb. But yeah, my test results. I won't say what happened, because it's kind of awkward. But yeah. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm, I thought I would get the call today. Ah, crud. Well, when we play Super Mario All-Stars, we'll get that weird jingle that's like, ba ba da ba Pick a box. Its contents are gonna help you on your quest, you see. Thanks, Toad. Look at the mushroom galore. I always use the stars on the hammer, bros, but not the first one, because he's... Yes, all oh, this music's amazing. I wish it appeared in more places. But then I guess it wouldn't be special. Oh, it's terrible. The king has been transformed into a doggy. He's better. Dogs are better than people. What are you crying about, Toad? If I turned into a dog, I would want them to write an Animorphs book about me. I wish that every single one of us had the ability to turn into an animal. But then that would just be another thing, wouldn't it? They're like, oh, of course, all the cool, hot people, the all-stars of the world in Hollywood, they'd be turning into the cool animals, and that's why they have those jobs, and we'd be turning into, like, dung beetles. The rich versus the poor. The lions versus the dung beetles. The 
tell you, it's what it would be. Oh, see? Dung beetle status right there. Is there a... I forget what ships have the little bonus power of... Oh yeah, Larry's number one in this game. Is he in Mario World too? No, Larry's the last Koopa. Maybe he was so angry that he was terrible in this game that he earned the final spot? I don't know. 15 lives. The kings always looked weird in this game. Thank heavens I'm back to my old self again. That's right, there's bonus dialogue of these dudes if you're the frog or the tanuki, right? I don't know about the Hammer Bros suit. The enclosed jewel. Wow, this map looks a lot more green than I remember. I always like the dancing trees. You know what it reminds me of? Remember that kid's book, Chicka Chicka Boom Boom? It's all about the tree that goes Chicka Chicka Boom Boom and the letters fall off and it's how you learn the alphabet but it's like in some weird format. It was like my sister's favorite book when we were kids. There we go, the star is behaving. Oh yeah, there's something about this. Wait, it's up. I think I passed it. What's up here? No, that's the exit pipe. Which means the true secret is over here. I don't remember this crap, dude. That's right, now I do, now that I see it. Is there a hidden one up in here? There's some rooms that look like this later in the have one. Oh yeah, it's the get- well, excuse me, sir! Wait, there's something about this? Whatever, I'm done. <laughs> Those two pipes at the end, I think one of them you come out of after doing some nonsense. 64 monies! Strange that they changed it to a dollar sign. In the Japanese version, is it a dollar sign? Because that'd be even stranger. Yeah, but I might have to go get, like, surgery or something, or some, like, x-ray type surgery. I don't know, there's some weird stuff that the medical people can do. I can just like hook you up to a machine and blast lasers at you to fix stuff. Of course, it probably costs like $900,000, and therein lies the problem. Oh, I love this fortress. On the, on the NES, it's the best because it's black and gray. See, remember, remember Mario 2? I was saying the gray scale stuff. I missed it. It was too colorful. Like that fire boss, this, the green pipe. Marvel at it, lick it. The green apple pipe among the gray. It's an NES exclusive. Oh, in this stage, everybody approaches it differently. This room, rather. You can either go up or down. I always go up. Whoa! Boo on crack. That's right, they move so fast in this game. Oh, yeah, and the boom boom that looks like the Batman I once had and played with in the bathtub. See, this fortress is special. It's got all the memories packed into it. And that green apple pipe. Why is it green apple? Oh, let's see if we can finish this. Uh. No, you suck. Wait, we, we flipped this. Where was it? Oh, I'm terrible at everything. It's all right. We're hanging out with Toad. He's squatting hard. Oh, boy. Toad doesn't know about the struggles. How could he be such a heady participant in the previous game, and then in here he doesn't do anything? Hey, that's good. We're already on the second row of items? Crap! Well, that's something to talk about. Do you guys prefer this game's item storage mechanic? Or Mario World's? Because Mario World only lets you hold one extra. But you can use it at any point mid-stage. Whereas this one, it's like a map screen thing. But you always have like way too many items in this game. 
Huh. Yeah, I really don't remember, like, the mid-stage things that happen up in the sky. Like, if this level has one, I only really remember this part. And that star that I got. 97, what a year that was. The year before Ocarina of Time, the year of Goldeneye. I've been waking up a lot, being like, can we just go back to 95, please? Uh, it's like my, my morning ritual is begging for it to be 1995 again. <laughs> I don't know why. It just seems like a good year. Yeah, the sun. He's really not that bad. It's interesting coming back to this game. Uh, after playing so much Mario Maker stuff. You forget how basic these stages are. It's just like a straight shot to the end with not really too much going on. And then Mario Maker's got... A lot of the times too much going on. So what's the happy medium? I don't know. I do wonder about Mario Maker, though. I think I talked about that in, like, the previous one, the Mario Bros. 2 video. But if they do make a third game, I would hope that they vastly improve the Mario World mechanics. Let's do the secret in this stage, because it's... it's memorable. I remember playing with my dad and figuring out this was here. I wish those dad stories had more to it than, oh yeah, I remember doing this with my dad. Because I really don't remember anything more detailed than that. Oh yeah, the P block, where is it? It's in like a very strange one. Yeah, that one. Well, I guess we botched it up. Hmm, whatever. Oh yeah. The sock throwing dudes. I think it's supposed to be a boomerang, but it looks like a sock. Oh, yeah, the most useless item ever. We gotta start ditching these things. Do we have the hammer? Or... Nah, I think this guy gives us the hammer. There we go, let's do it. Leads to a frog suit. And that's where we're heading next, so. And the cool fire bros. I always thought it was weird that it has the Roman numeral three. I guess it's supposed to tell you that this item is for that stage. But it always made me wonder, like was this supposed to be world three or something? Uh, let's use the star because these guys are nuts. Wait, this is a whistle, isn't it? Whoops. Well, now we have one less item storage for the rest of this game. Because I'm not using it. Unless... Oh, I have this test of my memory. Where can you use that whistle and still end up in the same exact world? I think it always puts you a row over, though. So, like, if I use it now, we can only do, like, five, six, and seven. I think. Right, because it's one, two, three on the top row, five, six, seven, and then world eight's on its own? On that warp screen? I don't remember. Because I'm really dumb. See, so yeah, I actually don't think there is a way to use the whistle at this point. Pink P-Switch, that's something you don't see all the time. I always liked this level, I don't know, there's something... What about it? Yeah, embolization, right? Is that what the word is? That's like one of those crazy x-ray alternatives to surgery that can happen. Never had to do surgery before. But I don't even know if that's what they're gonna suggest. I'm waiting for the dude to call back. He's taking his sweet time. Whoa, I don't remember this level at all. I really don't. Wait, there's something going on here. Well, that's 
Probably a star or something. Oh! Oh wait, I remember this, yeah! Wow, this level I don't think I've seen in like three decades. switch? Oh. Two dash five, man. I guess because you could so easily skip it and it's in its own little corner, I never go to it. Oh, yeah. Man. I, sorry, I don't know what else to say, but oh, yeah, remember this? I got another mush. Man. I burnt my finger toasting Pop-Tarts earlier. It's burning like crap right now. All right, burn finger. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, yeah. Yes. A blue fire flower. That would be the ice flower from Galaxy 1, right? Okay, this. The 20 coin. Yeah. Oh, no. Why do I keep flipping the one up? Wait, we flipped that too. My memory sucks. See? Everything gets worse. Those it gets better people are full of crap, man. Yeah, it's really red, man. It was in the toaster oven and I went to grab them and the top of my finger hit the top of the toaster oven. And I said, owie, don't be doing that. No, I didn't say that, but basically. I think I probably said something foul of the non-bird variety. That was hilarious. Who is this, Morton? Oh, okay. Wasn't sure. I don't need that fire flower. Get that crap out of here, What I liked about Mario World is how it starts you with the Fire Flower for the whole first world, and then you get the game's, uh, signature item in World 2. Like, they make you wait a whole world. I wonder if that annoyed any kids that were really bad at the game at first. I just want the cape that's on the picture. Is there an item over here? Morton, wait till you vibrate the ground. No. I guess that's a Roy exclusive. Well, here's another one, man. Grayscale. Although he remains gray. But not that gray. But yeah, speaking of not playing this stuff in, like, decades, the All-Stars variant of this, that I've seen even... Even less. What is on his pants? <laughs> Has anybody ever stared so intently at that dude's pants before? Ah, yes, World 3. This is where we're gonna have some trouble. Is this a frog suit? No, it is a flower. Yeah, I always die in this world. So, we'll see. This is the one with the, the big fish, right? Not yet, but he's coming. Look at that spaghetti belly Mario has. I forgot how bulbous it was. Does anybody like being full? Like, people always say it's a good thing, when you're like, oh, I'm so full, or like, I don't know, it's supposed to be a good thing, like, be thankful you're fed or something. But yeah, it never feels good, it's like, I'm gonna die. You have to wait like an hour before you feel somewhat normal again. Is this the stage with the fish? No, this is the star thing, isn't it? Yes! 
Oh, why does it go left? It's so dumb. Is there any emo Nintendo bands? Because that would be a song titled The Leftward Moving Star. Oh, with your fire flower being dumb. The fire flower that exists in your throat. Okay. See, I told you World 3 was going to get rough. We're heading into the asteroids. Now we're heading into the fish. Shut up. Well, I suppose we could use an item. Pick a box. Its contents might. A frog suit? What are the chances? That's not a guarantee, is it? But this isn't a water stage. It's on ground. Ground, yeah. It's on that ground there, see? Uh, this is what we're doing. Gotta clean out the inventory. Oh, crud. Maybe I should have used... I forgot. Oh, that's nice. No, I'm not getting it. Whatever. A hammer. Oh yeah, the huge secret at the end, that's right. Or that thing if you want it down there. Hmm. Alright, well, we've got mushrooms, but we don't need anything. This is Bertha! Oh my gosh, we know what is this boss bass, right? Oh, I just called it Big Bertha. Is that arcade game, you know? No. What? How did I? How did I not die? Oh, on the switch, really? It really is like a one for one, isn't it? The slowdown. You would think there would be absolutely no slowdown. The most fluid. There it is. <laughs> Those stupid flipping things. I can't believe that, man. The slowdown, that is. I, I believe the death. What the heck? Get up! There. It starts. No, we, we said we're doing every stage. Yeah, I mean, some of you may have never seen somebody die so much. Mario, but yeah, here it is. It's happening. Behold, something you've never seen before then. I'm not gonna get mad about it, though. Because that's gonna cause more health issues. No, I don't know. Here comes that slowdown again. Oh, yeah, squeeze it out. The constipated block. Spinny Jr., good. Don't even think about it, fish. That's right. It took like nine tries, but we did it. Yeah, when I was a kid, this is the world that I used to just give up and stop playing on. Probably that level, too. It just never stopped being difficult. Well, not really difficult, but just... I mean, I guess in a way. Oh, yeah, this is the one. Oh, crap, what door is it? No, that's right. Hold on. Man, I used to know this like the back of my hand. But then my hand got hair. And now I don't recognize it. No. It's not that one. It's the after one. It's... But this is something, too. Yeah, what is this? Oh, the leftward moving mush. This door is the one. Yeah. weird how memories form, you know? Like when you're just living through something, you never think about how one day in the future you're gonna look back at that one thing and be like, oh my gosh, do you remember this? Nice hat, mush man. Alright, can we finish this card? 
I forget already what I flipped. I, I don't even know. I'm not paying attention very well here. Nah, see, we're stupid. This was somewhere. But where? Aha! Oh, we know where that is, yes? Oh, thank gosh. Thank gosh? Who says that? <laughs> My mouth doesn't know what it's doing either. Uh... Frog suit into five? I don't remember what five is. We don't need the frog suit. Whatever, we'll do this. Oh yeah, see why wasn't this in the grassland? This isn't the star run, right? No, this isn't it. That's like World 7, I think, I'm thinking. Oh no! Could have made that joke. Yeah, I had to talk to some lady on the phone about financial aid for a medical procedure. Oh yeah, this dude. Wait, does it turn you? No, that's right. Yeah, okay, it does that. I wasn't sure. That's really only in Mario Maker, right? Where the power-up is always what it looks like, but in the true Mario games, it downgrades you and acts like a mushroom. What? I thought I heard a noise before. Well, what do you know? We got a coin ship. Well, yeah, the, uh... What was I saying something about? Oh, yeah, the medical procedure. Yeah. Well, I guess my form wasn't... She had some questions still, so she had to call me and ask me some questions. And, uh... She was like, what you do on YouTube? I was, like, too embarrassed to say what it was, and I definitely wasn't gonna give out the channel name. Like, I avoid that at all costs in my real day-to-day, -day, if ever it somehow comes up. But, uh... I was like, oh, no, it's just a gaming thing. And she's like, oh, yeah? I need to get myself into gaming, then. I don't know, I just had, like, a, a brief conversation. Because I had to give her my four recent pay stubs, and that's all I had. Was something from Google. I wanted to give her the Schedule C form, but it hasn't come in the mail yet. That's another thing coming up. Taxes. This is going to be the true test this year. We already know no insurance is a pain in the neck to navigate life with. But how bad are the full taxes of doing only YouTube and Patreon? That has yet to be seen. And it might scare me into oblivion. But either way, I'm still looking for work anyway. I wouldn't mind going back to my old job at this point. <laughs> I don't know. Just because of the day one insurance, it's like, I don't know. But see, that's the problem. Man, the frog suits galore. You don't even need them after... Well, no, there's one level in World 7 where it's nice to go in froggy Mario. But yeah, I have a real problem where it's like, okay, I remember where I used to work, so I know about that, so let's just try to apply there again. Rather than moving on to something new. Again? Look at- how many is that? We have like five of those now. I don't even know why I'm doing this stuff. Yay! So we got the mushroom, the flower, we just gotta get the star. And then I guess we don't have to really play these anymore. What's the name of this world? Just like Sea Land, right? Should be Sea Foam Islands. Yeah, I just think most people... When they leave a job, they look for a new job somewhere else, and they just keep on branching into newer things and trying newer things. Alright, let's, uh... Give it a whirl. This isn't... as easy to control as Mario Maker, I don't think. 
Okay, so you don't even really have to hold the dash button. Oh, really? Well, well, whatever. I don't know, I always feel like things in life, if you don't meet the prerequisites, there's no possible way you can do them. But normal people don't think that way. They're like, oh yeah, I could do that. And they just keep on trying until they get it, whether they're qualified or not. Or I'm like, oh, well, there's no way. I don't know about this thing, so why even bother? But yeah, there's nothing in this world that will make you feel more like a crap piece of garbage than job searching. Because they write those job uh, listings in such a way that makes you feel like you're the most useless piece of gutter trash. Where realistically, it's probably like I was saying, how most people don't even think twice about it. And they're like, oh yeah, well, whatever. Whatever the writing says. They don't even read the whole thing, probably. Because realistically, you probably can do the job, no problem. Hey, this is the other level that I combined with that one from World 1. My Whistle to the Sky course in Mario Maker 2. I don't think that was a coin block when I did it, though. Maybe it was. I don't know why I called it Whistle to the Sky when this is World 3. Maybe because it was Sky Theme, in order to get this music, that's what it was, yeah. Whoops. Oh, it still works, okay. Well, the left word everything, man. Uh-oh, I forgot about that. Well, they don't exist in Mario Maker, so that's why that my stage didn't have that. My stage is so stupid. It's not your stage. Mr. Burnt Pop-Tart Finger over here hurting like crap. I'm gonna have to have surgery on my finger! No, I'm just kidding. Let's use the music box since we're crying over here. Oh yeah, this stage was always weird. Uh, nope. Didn't remember it was there. Did anybody ever know that his name was Spike until Mario Maker came out? Man, the slowdown is absurd! On a console released in 2017? That's weird to think about. Still no news yet about Zelda things? I've seen fake videos about Ocarina of Time Remastered. It's like, why even make a video like that? I don't know. Like, why make fake news? Hey. We have so many items, though. Do we even really need to do it? Oh, yeah, wait. That's right, there's two patterns where the stars are on either corner. And then the mushroom, yeah, I remember this one kinda. Fire flower would be, no. There's a fire flower somewhere in that vicinity though. This is Froggy Fortress, I remember this is a, yeah. The booze, right? And the waffles. I always call those things waffles. Or is this not the boo one yet? Oh no, it definitely is. Okay, yeah, frog suit helps immensely with this one. This is another thing that would be neat to have in Mario Maker. I don't know why I care. It's like the same thing when I'm like, I wish Nintendo would do official releases of randomizers. Like, why? Because then they just take down every other randomizer. I hope that day never comes. Speaking of that, dude, oh yeah, something to talk about. That's always exciting when it happens. Super Metroid. Remember how it existed and it was awesome? 
And then they came out with randomizers, which was the coolest thing ever. Then there was the plandomizer. Then there was combined with A Link to the Past. Well, guess what there is now for Super Metroid? There is multiplayer. And the speedrunners are all over that. I've seen a three-player and a two-player run. And it's so cool because all your ammo and pickups are shared. It's like... Uh, I don't know how they do it. They play on an actual cartridge. I don't know. I would have to look into it. But there's some kind of USB thing using the Super Metroid ROM. And via the internet, it synchronizes the games between whoever you're playing with. So it makes the routing so interesting. So like one person could do all the uh, the Brinstar stuff while somebody's on their way to Meridia. And you could basically tag team the game and make the game time so much shorter. And those speedrunners already have it down where like, it's, it's obscene. That game, I'm telling you, it just never gets old. And they keep finding new ways to make it work in some mind-blowing way. Because, like, I saw one where one of the players was already on his way to, uh... I think it was Meridia, and it just so happened that the guy doing the wrecked ship picked up the gravity suit at exactly the right time so that it was synchronized with when the other player was arriving in Meridia, so he had full movement underwater at that point. And there was something similar with, like, the wave beam and the Varia suit in Norfair. It's like, man, this is so cool. Like, you can't see the other players running around because the Super Nintendo can't handle that. And there's even some cool things, too, where, like, one player could be almost dead, but another player is picking up an energy tank, and then it synchronizes the pickup so the person who's almost dead gets full energy, and they utilize that as a strategy, too. It's just, I don't know, man, I can't wait to see that in an AGDQ. And I don't even know how new it actually is. It might have been around for a while, but Zost is one that I've seen doing it. And, uh... Yeah, it's definitely, like, the coolest thing I've seen retro gaming-wise in recent days. But anyway, I guess we're not playing that game, so, uh... How many rows of items do you get in this game? Oh, let's use a frog suit. What the heck is that thing? Oh yeah, the Turbo Frog Run. Who's this, Wendy? Yeah, it is Wendy. That's another reason why I always died as a kid and gave up. Like, in my head, Wendy is the hardest Koopaling. Even in Mario World, she remains difficult. I suppose that's one coming up, too. I gotta do a Let's Play of Super Mario World. I'm... Oh. oh my gosh, really? Are we losing this? I'm supposed to go up. I suck. Oh, it's gonna go flying all over, too. But yeah, I've been hoping for, like, a two-player Mario World thing, but... thinking about the Sonic games, too. I have to... I don't know, just February, and I guess January, too. Uh, it's been a weird, like I said, week, month, even. I don't know. Stuff has been kind of crazy lately, so... Wait, how do you do this? Whatever. I'm gonna take the upper path, but I don't know how to... Anyway, what I was saying is I feel like so many of these classic retro games I don't even have on my channel, which is kind of a disservice to the name of the channel. So in a way, all the life craziness happening it makes for a good time to not really spend a lot of time playing these games and just do these casual ones. Uh-oh. 
thank God. World 4 used to be my favorite as a kid because I just thought the giant sized everything was so cool. It's got that funky map music too. That guy looks like Mario. And his neck is sinking into itself. Weird. Ah, uh, music box, lady. Yeah, now we're dancing. Even like the fire flowers. I think this is the right pipe. I hope. I hope I didn't get this wrong. No, it's right. Okay. Oh, yeah, the red mushroom. That's a guaranteed tanuki suit, right? Yeah, this was so neat as a kid, seeing these giant things. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. A lot of the Super Nintendo games that I rented as a kid had giant props. Those very basic things just scattered around the screen, really. Yeah, that lady on the phone, dude. She did not make me feel very confident about this financial aid thing. Because she was acting like my paychecks were really big or something, and they're not. They're definitely not. I'm barely getting by over here. But, I don't know. I think... I don't know what I think. <laughs> Just looking for work is what I think. Little Fish, Big Turtle. That's another song title. Oh, wait, there's something about this. Yeah, this was a neat level, too. One of those wa- would this count as a water stage? Because if so, I like it. Which means other people probably hate it. I don't know what it is with me. I don't know why I like water levels. Like Labyrinth Zone? I just watched a cool speedrun of that. That's another thing to talk about, I guess. Sonic the Hedgehog 1 in 2013 got an Android and iPhone remaster. And you could play as Tails and Knuckles, and you can have the spin dash that was part of Sonic 2. But it's only on Android and iPhone, which is the biggest dumb piece of crap, because those aren't real gaming devices. I don't care. They're not. You use your phone to call people. No, I'm not. I'm just being dumb. Oh, yeah, Big Chunks Jr. Whatever, since you're dancing, I'm going down here. What is this now? Didn't we already do this level? Oh, this is the one with the weird... No, this isn't what I was thinking either. Oh, wait, yeah, this is just the jumpy one. What was I saying? Oh yeah, the Sonic thing. Flying Fox is a runner, and she got the world record at this recent AGDQ for that game, the Android Sonic 1. But just the fact that you could play as Tails and fly over everything and spin dash, like, I want to play that. So I gotta look for Sonic 1 hacks that are basically that, but not. So I'm definitely not playing on a mobile device. Never really was much for the handheld gaming, aside from like Tetris and Mario Land. I think I played Candy Crush for a little bit when that was brand new and all the rage. Oh wait, what's this do again? Oh yeah. Those two blocks stumped me as a kid. Even though the background is clearly a different color marking where those blocks are. Like, I lost the leaf or something and I thought I was stuck and couldn't leave. I had to die in order to get out of the level. Because I thought the only way was to fly up, but yep. Mm. 
Nice eyes, pal. Mmm, froggy suit? Nah. Wait, is this the walkie off he one? Yes, okay. This just leads to like peace switch nonsense, but why not? Started watching a speedrun of Jedi Fallen Order too. Just because I haven't really played any Star Wars things. In recent times, I'm not hitting the other piece, which I don't care. But. That's the newer one, right? The Fallen Order thing? It's just crazy, kind of like the job thing, where it's like. Trapped in this retro land. I just do the same stuff all the time. Sometimes those newer games, I don't know, just seeing, like, Imperial ships come crashing down and they're just huge and all cinematic and stuff, I'm like, man, that never happened on the N64. But at the same time, though, a lot of those games, it's just like watching cutscenes and then, like, the gameplay is very repetitive. Well, I mean, I guess this gameplay is repetitive. But... Who knows? See the little glimpses of white on Mario? It's palette swaps, man. There's actually a, a thing with this game. If you go into a level that has doors, as Hammer Mario, whoops, and then you lose the suit, when you go in the door, Mario's red turns to white, as if you still have the Hammer suit on. We might see it, who knows. Let's go see what's in here. This is a Tanuki suit, I think, right? Oh, is this the level that it can be either big or small? I think it is. Yeah, this one is so weird. But I was looking, like, nesmaps.com or org or something. Like, if you type in a Google search for Mario 3 maps, it's like one, the first or second result. And I learned something looking at this level's map. Ooh, what is that? Like, if you... Go through the door and then go back to where the level started, there's a one-up or something. But it only happens that way, like on the little side. And likewise, like this part of the stage is different if you go through it on the big side. But it is just like one-ups or star blocks or something. One of the two. What was that? Oh. Sure. Stop yawning. I like this game, it's pretty fun. But, I kind of feel like I might have had more fun playing Mario too. Oh, what it is, maybe it's because I was dying a bunch on the fish. Speaking of Zost though, <laughs> I was watching his New Year's Eve video where he played that weird Japanese game called Power Shovel for like the PlayStation 1 and all you do is you you use the power shovel to dig up sand and it's just the weirdest thing but it made me kind of want to play it just as like a silly one-off thing or if I ever do a live stream like have that be the first one just something completely ridiculous Was this the first instance of heat-seeking bullet pills? Oh, there's something going on. Oh, are you a suit? Yes! The best suit in the game! I remember the, using the Game Genie codes to always be Tanuki Mario.
It's where I first learned the term Tanuki. But then, of course, if you ever you used any Game Genie codes and you beat Bowser, the game would instantly pause itself. So you have to stand in the doorway while holding up to bypass the, the pause soft block because there was no way to unpause it. I remember that clear as day, too. Lots of busy work in this game. Is this the cool fortress? One of the fortresses in this game, it is a donut-y one, that's good. But I like the one that's all grayscale, and there's lava bubbles hopping over the bridge. Oh man, don't be losing this now. Eat it. Wait, you can destroy the waffles with this statue thing, I think. And everyone should destroy waffles, because they are the inferior pancake! Oh no. Come on, what's happening here? There we go. Yeah, this is just a waste. There's gotta be a way up and just to ignore this screen. Oh well. I may have to make a suspend point back to this. I don't know. We'll see. I don't remember the pattern for this either. Any games you guys play recently that you used to be really good at, but you played it for the first time in, like, years? Decades, even? And it's like all your skill that you once had is gone? I feel like that's what I'm running into here. Wait, this is a one-up thingy. The obvious spot. No? Whatever. I know there's like one or two in here. Oh wait, there's something up there. Is it another Tanuki? Or is it just coins? It might just be coins. Well, look at the, the palette of this room. I don't know, these blue bricks. That's an NES exclusive thing, because I'm pretty sure it's different on the All-Stars version. All that, just to get literally one... Ooh. Stupid waffles. Okay. We still got it. Oh, jeez. Losing the Tanuki on Boom Boom. That would be sad. But it's happened. Yeah, World 4 is kind of just there, isn't it? That Charmander here, that's what it looks like, kind of. Like, aside from the few stages where clearly everything's bigger, there's not really anything about World 4. Who even is this? In the olive green ship. What an ugly color when you really think about it. Yeah, eat it! It's a cool trick I didn't learn until much later in life. I didn't really think the statue was of much use, except for avoiding damage, really. Wing damage. You know, for as much as I quote Star Fox, I don't really know how good the first game actually is. And Star Fox 2, I still haven't finished that, I still gotta record expert mode, but at this point I'm like, does it even matter? I didn't play as Fox and Mayu, or Miyu, however you say that other character's name. I mean, Fox I don't really care about, because he's all you ever get to choose in all the other games. Except for Command, of course. Well, whatever. I noticed there's a store, uh, a sale on the PlayStation Store of Day of the Tentacle Remastered for only three dollars. But, uh, I'm still trying to gauge if I want to play it on the PlayStation, because without a mouse and keyboard, I feel like that game would feel all kinds of different. And there's parts of that remastered game that I don't know how I feel about it. 
So I'm so used to having that, uh, that little down bottom of the screen banner that has all your options like talk to, give, push, pull. Because it's a point and click adventure for those of you who don't know. It's one of the best ones that ever. Oh, come on! That's right, you're supposed to take the upper path to avoid that. Oh, so much for the tanuki. Iggy, huh? What is it? What is your gimmick? You just bounce like a weirdo. I guess they really didn't have too much character yet. But, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, Day of the Tentacle Remastered. Like, I played that game so much on my old computer that I'm so used to hearing everything through those that sound blaster. Nice nips, pal. That's one happy man, dude, just kicking his feet. No shirt. He doesn't care. You think they knew what they were doing with Mario when they made this game? Like all these different kings and kingdoms, all of which have a toad servant. Do you think they meant to take that further? Or if they were just like, nah, just make a better Mario 1. And then we'll figure- I mean, Nintendo never has a plan, I don't think. Like, just look at Zelda. If that's not a shining example of try to make it work after the fact. Ooh, the leftward moving! I saw it coming, but I was already mid-jump. I committed to the death. World's five, yes. The half grassland, but also sky. What do you know? I am quite thirsty over here, and I'm out of energy drinks. Still going left. What are you programmed to always go left? I have iced tea though. Actually, I actually have that Arnold Palmer stuff that's half lemonade, half iced tea. It's pretty good. I've always liked that stuff. And shout outs to Arnold Palmer, man. Or Arizona, I guess. Because those big tall cans that have been around all of our lives searching for something. Oh, this level. But they've remained 99 cents. Forever. No inflation for you. Oh, that was so close. Wait, no, you gotta go down the left one. No, wait, no, that's not yet. This screen is awesome. Fish, get out of here. Like, this deep green and green and black, man, this... This takes you back. Remember, like, AOL? I always set my font to green with a black border. Dude! Well, that's another screen that on the All-Stars version, all the joy is just taken away. Uh, I mean, we have a bunch of mushrooms, but I'm, I'm rolling with it. There's no excuse for missing this jump. Nah, I like bubbles in my drink, though. That's why I like some of those energy drinks. But I don't know. If you rewind the clocks and you think back to the healthiest days, energy drinks did not exist in those times. And now here we are with all kinds of health issues. And we've been drinking energy drinks for like the better part of 10 years now. Is there a correlation? I'm sure they've done studies and they suggest it, but there's not enough data yet. So this is where you rely on common sense, where if you think even remotely that something's bad for you, it probably is. But then, the human instinct, or would it be the id? Kicking in, being like, but daddy, I want a mouch like this. And so you just keep on doing it anyway, even though you know you should make a change, and well, maybe I will next year, but well, for now, I'm just gonna keep going. Next thing you know, you're dead. And who's to blame? But your dumbness. Anyway. Is this the boot stage? 
Yes, it is. The leftward moving level. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, that's right, you gotta get him from the underside. It's the only way to get the shoe. This is another shining example of, like, a gimmick that seemed like it maybe had a bigger purpose, but then it's just like, it's just this one stage. But back then, it didn't matter, you know? It is interesting to think about the creation of levels back then. I mean, I remember, if you watched anything about Mario Maker behind the scenes or whatever, there's those things of Miyamoto himself talking about, like, using graphing paper to draw out these levels. Just, like, how complicated it was to actually make it, whereas we could just boot up Mario Maker now and copy it, kind of. It is sad in a way, though. Like, I've been... You guys... Follow that channel, DK Creations LTD Limited. It's David Wise and uh, Kevin Bayless, former Rare employees. Now with Platonic. Well, David Wise, I think he's freelance, isn't he? Well, yeah, they have a YouTube channel where they just kind of do behind the scenes stuff back in the Rare days. And it's kind of sad, like, they just had one... ...where Kev was talking about... ...he was showing off his early sketches of Killer Instinct characters. And he was saying how, like, rudimentary they were, and they would literally just sketch them on these, like, post-it notes, and that was good enough to, like, get the ball rolling. Whereas today, that wouldn't fly. Like, you need fully complete artwork... ...to even get a chance to move to the next step. It's just kind of sad that those days are gone. You can't just be... Like, you can't have those little sketches and go from there. Oh, this isn't gonna work. That's right, you gotta not bonk. I don't even know what this goes to. Hey, it's just one of those many examples that exist of the good old days, really. That are just... They can't ever come back. Like, all of these games, they were like... Sometimes not even a team of 20 people to make these things happen. There's more in here, isn't there? Ah, oh, well, whatever. That's right, it kind of just... Ah, uh, waffles. This is why I don't like you. You make me thirsty, you cut my mouth. And the syrup makes me feel like crap all day. Well, don't you put syrup on pancakes? Yeah, but if it feels good then, because the pancake knows. No. People put fruit on waffles. That's why they're superior to pancakes in that opinion land. But who combines fruit with it? That's weird flavors. Mushy strawberry flavor onto, like, batter flavor. I don't know, it all just feels wrong. But fruit for breakfast is actually a divine way to start the day. I think the weirdest breakfast situation I ever had, where fruit was an option, it was when my girlfriend came to visit, and we got a hotel, and we paid for the breakfast option every morning. Whatever the continental breakfast or whatever it's called. And, uh... Oh yeah, this screen, this screen is something else. Oh, don't even think about it. Yeah, that's right. Keep bouncing. There's one up hidden to the side, I think. Unless that's after... But, uh, yeah, the one morning it was just us in there, and our waiter just kept hovering over us. 
It was really weird. Like, there was no privacy or, like, no way to have a conversation without him listening and... and like, just go away, man. This might be the screen with the one-ups. No, I think it was the other one. Definitely a neat little mini fortress. Oh, yeah, is this the runny one? Yes, oh, I like this level. Oh, I think I do. Maybe I don't. You can't have water in the sky. Water falls. Nice try, turtle. I like your timing. I'm not grinding for the one-ups on him. Yeah, I think the sky section, something about it gave me problems as a kid. That wasn't the runny one, though. Is it this one? Oh! Any of these bumpable? No. There we go, there's the bump. Wait, something's going on here. Tanuki? This is a Tanuki level. Yes! Now, let's not lose it immediately, please. There's a piranha or something that makes it very possible. Yeah, that clown. No! Oh. That's right! What do you know about my statue ability? Oh, get out of here flying, dropping your babies all over. Okay, we kept it. <laughs> see if we could keep it for a little longer. I was saying something that I don't remember now. The blue house. That's right, there's a white mushroom house, too. That's, like, even harder to get than the coin ship. You don't ever see that back shot of Mario. That's kind of cool. Maybe. And nuts. Thank God our mouths don't grow vegetation. I guess they could if you don't take care of them. This is the runny one, is it? No. No, this is the weird castle hidden thingy. I like this level too. Yeah, what is all this? Get out of here. Blocking the entrance. Oh yeah, the half ground, half sky. Nobody knows why. Bricks up there. I don't know. I don't know the purpose. Maybe there's some secrets, but let's keep on going. Oh no, don't you think about it, sir. Oh, his little head got my toe. Oh. I wonder if as a kid I ever got the bonus text for being a frog or tanuki and beating the castles. The airships. Uh, we definitely don't need that thing, but... Oh no, not this one. It's like the only stage with these dudes in it. Maybe it's not so bad. Uh-oh. Oh, I was supposed to jump. Alright, well, you know what? Okay, just the momentum is what matters. We still got it. No blocks, man. And see, that's why I hate no blocks. Sometimes the jump doesn't jump. Well, we could cheat. Let's do it. Why not? When else are we going to use these things? 8-1. It's another good stage to use the P-Wing in. Or the P-Finger. Wait, why is it a finger? That doesn't make any sense. It's not even a fist. Like, I can understand it'd be like a power fist, like Mario's ultimate item or something, but it's a finger. I don't know. Quite obnoxious, though. Real life needs a give up item like this, though. Oh, yeah, that guy, but this isn't even the stage. Oh, he's gonna get me. This isn't even that diagonal moving stage where there's like two or three of those guys. Whatever. 
We have a leaf now, we did it, we cheated, who cares? It's part of the game, it's not cheating. It's just... I don't know. I guess it's like doing math homework and getting all the answers from the back of the book. You still do it, you still completed the assignment, but you didn't learn anything. This is the fortress, yes! This might be like one of my favorite stages in the game, I don't know. The palette, it's all the colors, man, the colors and the feeling. Remember those fireball candies? That's what this place reminds me of. Oh, what the heck? Well, that's easy, though. I just did a baby jump and messed it up. that come from the ceiling, that's a problem. Kind of. It's all programmed to go on the first try, though, isn't it? Yeah, I like that fortress. I don't know, something about it. I'm in that weird hour. It's, it's after 9 p.m., and in these virus times, everything closes. That used to be 24 hours, so there's nowhere to go to get food or drinks or anything. So we're kind of playing this in moments of desperation, and this is the runny stage. Now I have things, but not really anything good. I bought Golden Grams because they claimed that the retro recipe with their old honey and stuff is back. Tried it, it tastes like crap. Triple flowers! Yes! Why does that look off-centered? Oh, something seems weird. Maybe because the sides of the screen are so glitchy. This is the one, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, let's see if we can redeem ourselves. Baby Mario. This is the notorious level that people hate because of those little orb guys. Roy Orbison? That's not his name, is it? Here he comes. I think. Yeah. Alright. That's not the end. Yeah, that guy, well, I don't know. Whoa. Whatever, you just have a field day. We're almost there. Yeah, it wasn't so bad. Again, a fine example of Stages that stick out in your memory as, like, way bigger than they actually are. Like, that's probably only... five screens worth or something on a Mario Maker grid. Well, should we do it? We have all these things. We'll use that, get rid of it. Let's just see what we've got. Oh yeah, we were mid-something going on here. Ah, oh, we are garbage still. Wait a minute. Hmm. That's right. And the next time that appears, I won't remember. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. We're getting there though, we're more than halfway, right? Kinda, yeah. What is this guy? I don't remember. A bird! Kind of like the ones on Mario 2 that you had to hitch a ride... with? Who is this? Is this Roy? World 5 Roy. That seems right. Or maybe it's Lemmy. It looks so much like level 1, though. What's the gimmick? The last one was just all fire thingies.
I don't know, I mean, I guess they're all pretty similar, aren't they? Oh yeah, wait, no, this is the one you take the upper path. You gotta bounce, I gotta learn this. No. Okay, that, well, that works. That's the baby section. Yeah! I don't know, for some reason, like, I don't remember if you hold the button or you tap it at the right moment to gain height. I think I'm overcomplicating this, yeah. I can't do it! What the heck? There we go. Surely this one has an item box. No? Do none of them have it? It is Roy. Okay. We shall take it. So who's left? Lemmy... And I don't know who else. Who am I missing? Is there another L? Lemmy, Larry... We did Wendy. Roy, Morton, those are the chunks. We did Iggy, and... Yeah, who else is there? I really have no... Oh, Ludwig. Yeah, there we go. There's the other L. Ah, oh, boy, this creepy music. But how bad is this world really, though? I don't want to use the tanuki. We'll just use a mushroom. Yes! Ice physics! Another thing that I tend to enjoy, actually. Why am I so weird? I like water levels and ice physics. I don't like these guys, though. They can go away. The background of this place always kind of reminded me of pajamas. Like, stripey pajamas, you know? And those were the times. I guess you could still buy stripey pajamas if you really want to. Well, well get away! We don't need you anymore! <laughs> What is the best casual beverage? Sometimes water is pretty delicious. But that's only if you're craving it. I don't miss those mornings in college where, like, you basically are crawling to some source of water. <laughs> All hungover and crap. I definitely don't think I could do that in this day and age. We're too old, you know? It is crazy to think about. Like, I don't know, man. My brain is not with the times. Like, when I realize how old I am now, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up in my head. like scientific crap that came out recently saying like the world is spinning faster or something but it's so minor and I think it was actually it somehow had the reverse effect or something like made the days longer But yeah, I definitely read something recently that was saying like the change is significant enough that they're gonna have to reset the atomic clock which they do every so often anyway. But it's like the chain the interval in which they have to change it again is like approaching faster and faster. Or like the interval is becoming less and less, I mean. Which means we're all gonna die! No, I don't know what it means. <laughs> it's like that Homer Simpson meme with the end is near and he's walking around with the bell. Oh yeah, this fortress has something about it. What what's the deal here? Kind of reminds me of Castle Number Five, Roy, of uh, Mario World. Not the waffles again. 
Star? No, it's the leaf. There is a star. Yeah! Oh, this is the boom boom kill! Well, whatever. All I need is the star. Where is it? Waffles? Don't make me come after you now. Really? Yeah, you gotta blitz with that star and you can kill Boom Boom in one shot, but there's like just enough time to pull it off. We gotta get it, man. I think I will buy Day of the Tentacle for three bucks. That's nothing, man. Just give it a whirl. <laughs> That's always a weird thing. People who pronounce their W's with so much H in them. I'm definitely never buying waffles again. Ooh. So you get hasty, and then that's how you just start dying stupid ways. That mushroom, there's no way. There is a way, though. I remember grabbing that as a kid and still making it. Back in the days when reflexes were faster. Yeah, nice try. How's it taste, waffle? You dope! I'm gonna get you while you're sleeping. Next time I make waffles, I'm burning those things. <laughs> no, that's terrible. Because then the house smells for like three days. Go! I don't know. I got a kind of a rate, a rate run, yes. Boom, boom, I hate you! With his little hop, I might have had it. Well. Do we even need anything? This is another problem. Give me choices and suddenly everything takes longer. I'm bad at making decisions. They say it's a side effect of other things, but... What's the other thing? Stupidity? Yeah, probably. I don't know, maybe it's a link to perfectionism, but clearly I'm not that much of a perfectionist when half of my stuff I'm like, yeah, I don't even care. That was better. We had a little bit more of a run going. Boom, boom, I'm coming for you. Yes, got it! The upside-down question mark block. Okay, it all feels worth it now. We could play that card game if we really need to. I don't remember this stage. Ah, oh, these ice blocks make me happy, otherwise my jumping is stupid, but... It's all gone downhill. Which way is my career going, Phil? <laughs> that Mitch Hedrick joke. Yeah, whatever. Sorry, this is like a very casual video. It's not even... go for a drive right now. I miss that. I don't know, maybe some of the convenience stores are still open. There's gotta be a gas station, right? Because the traffic volume at nighttime in the, the graveyard hours, it's so much better, man. Like, if you gotta do anything, become a night owl. Don't even bother doing when normal people exist. It's not worth it. Sitting in traffic lights, dealing with people. Like, for how overpopulated the world is, you can still go out at, like, 12 p.m. or, like, 1 a.m. And there's a lot of emptiness still out there. So for, in those brief hours, it's kind of just like you and the rest of the people who are up in that time. It's like a little class of your own, you know? It suddenly, like, cuts down the population of the world, just being awake in those hours. Ah. Oh. Yeah, this stage was always something weird. Oh, don't even think about it. Roy Orbison again. Oh, yeah, the... Oh, jeez. Okay, we're good. How 
is that not a star? I jumped too late. Well, if the screen wasn't so glitchy going forward. I don't know. We're approaching hammer suit territory, though. Oh, yeah, this stage. The leaf. The endless leaf. Thank you, sir. I don't know, it's like one of my weird little favorite things to do in life. Like, 1 a.m., go to a gas station convenience store and grab an energy drink. Just that small interaction of just you and whoever's working that graveyard shift, you know? They probably haven't seen anybody in a while. And then you just come in and like, yep, I'm buying this energy drink. I don't know, it's just like a, a small exchange of words. There's more significance to it than if you do it at, say, like, 12 p.m. when everybody's stopping everywhere for stuff. And it's just like, all right, I'm tired of people, get out of here. And, like, from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m., forget about it, man. You can't drive anywhere without having to sit for nine years. And, like, every place that sells anything is packed full of people. I don't know, there's just a, a better sense of relief. And, like, you know how people always talk about going for a drive just to, like, kill some stress? Which is now, like, a waste of gas. But back in the day, everybody did that. Like, you can still do that, but only in the... In the midnight hour, man. to do with these items at this point. There we go. I was wondering where these hidden things were. Six dash six. This is a hammer suit, isn't it? Always. Yeah. I'm gonna save that for Bowser, see if we can pull it off. Maybe not, I don't know. What is this? New devilry. Oh no. A stage I never play, just like 2-5. And how I didn't remember that. I thought I could maybe slip on by. Whoop! Okay. Oh. Jumpy little sucker. As in Mario, I guess. There was a flavor of energy drink by Rockstar that they don't sell anymore. It wasn't that great, but it had a sourness to it that... I don't know, you know how with some sour things, you're like, Ooh, I don't know about this, it's kind of weird. But then you're like, well, wait a minute. It's actually kind of tasty. And so then you go for another one, and you're like, Ooh, I don't know, it's kind of sour and weird. But then you're like, but is it though? It's kind of tasty. And then like, for the whole in rest of liquid in that can, you have the same reaction. Or it's like a little bit of a sting, but it's a sting that feels so good. That's the kind of stuff I like. I like bubbly sour things that just kind of shock your mouth, you know, and go down all fizzy. It's more of an experience than just water or some flat iced tea or something. Ooh! Quit it! All right. That was a close call. That was even closer. <laughs> Stupid fish. Stupid fish, I hate you. Go away. Quit your hopping back and forth between ponds. Ponds. De Leon. No. Ponds. The pads that you can find to rub on your face. 
We don't need to break that rock. Why is it there? Oh, not the old way. Auto scrollers. Yeah, this is a coin ship. Or a mushroom house, whatever it is. Uh oh. Wait, we might still have it. What? Interesting mechanic I forgot about. In Mario Maker, you can jump from the underside of donut blocks to land on top, can't you? They don't have a hit detection on the bottom. Dying way too much in this run. It's kind of not funny anymore. World 7, I kind of have a love hate relationship with. Oh no. It has the cool star run levels, but then it has the annoying pipe mazes. You know, this World 6... It's not so bad. I remember as a kid hating this place, I think because of the scary map music. Did you get the hammer suit? Like, 6-10 has that hidden one, I can't wait for that level. You get to look at the nice, artistic ice blocks. It's just a cozy place. Oh wait, this final jump, yeah. Where are we? What was that, seven? Yeah. Well, I don't really remember this fortress. Oh yeah, dude, this is the Thwomp Dodging. Yeah, this one's not too bad either. World 6, man. Ice and water, I'm telling you. If I made a game, it would be all ice physics and all underwater. No, I'm just kidding. But surely, even the people who hate those things have to like some of the ones that exist. I just think it's unfair for everybody to hate water levels just out of principle. It's like, did you give it a chance? Well, no, but it's water level. Oh yeah, you got a little platform. This is something else, I tell you. Oh yeah, the thought out level. I forgot about this. I like when the little twinkles of the music get cut out and it's just like mm -choo, mm -choo, mm -choo, mm -choo, mm -choo, mm -choo. And the H. Why is there H's again? There's a significance. Isn't it just the executive producer of the time? Hiroshi Yamuchi or whatever is it? Or does the H mean something more significant in Japan? I don't know. Quite the lengthy little game here. Yeah, I think it was Sour Apple Rockstar or something. No, it was Lime. That's what it was. It was Lime. I don't know, what do you think about that? If you have all kinds of bad food and bad drinks that taste good, and it makes you die by the age of 50, but if you were happy the whole way and enjoying those things, is that fine? I guess it depends on what you're leaving behind, right? I feel like no matter how you live your life, somebody's gonna have something to say about it. That level's weird, because you gotta exit it through that pipe that's just kind of randomly in the middle. It's 
definitely gonna be weird like 30, 40 years from now. Everybody who's young during everything going on right now. So aren't they saying like all this being like school being taught from home or whatever, it's not they're not learning as well as actually learning in school. This fortress is kind of a pain in the neck, actually. I forgot about this thing. Dang it, Waffles! They're getting punched. I'm gonna make them a pancake, whether they like it or not. Uh, Star Run, let's get out of this mess. Just make it top. Yeah, okay. I gotta do it, man. I don't have stars to keep wasting. Okay. Nothing stupid now. That's stupid! Door, be boom boom. Oh, get over it! Oh, yeah, I forgot about this room. Those three little devils. Thank God I didn't clip one of their hitboxes. All right, boom boom, let's not choke. You got more bricks because you think you're special. Oh, he was, he was getting ready to power squat. Thank God. That might be one of the harder fortresses in the game. I don't remember the World 7 ones. Well, let's do it, the Hammer Bros. Do we need to bring in a flower? Might as well. I think we might be able to obtain it, but... Yeah, this is... The, uh... Like, that would be a mushroom. If I came in here little. We need a fire, because that's a vine that we need to sprout. But I think you don't want to sprout the vine first, because then it messes up. You gotta come over... Oh, yeah. So it is possible to get the flower still if you come in and it's with no power-ups. But these guys, at least the middle two, you gotta thaw out. And then you backtrack and sprout the vine and hit the P-switch. And then you gotta run back real quick. Saw a chance at a lot of coins too, that's pretty neat. Alright, go, 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 go. Nice. I think this is like the only hammer suit that you could obtain in a stage. Yeah! That's right, but you can't slide down slopes with it. So now, how long do we have it for? There's the trajectory of these things. Yeah, it's... It's kind of awkward, actually. I don't know if it's really that much better than a fire flower. Don't you dare, okay? There it goes, already. We're not gonna get mad. Well, I mean, you saw it, and it was joyous for like two seconds. We still got the one in our inventory, we'll have a chance at using it on Bowser, I guess. Gonna go for the end card real quick and then we'll do the airship. Even though it's way back here. It's not gonna be worth it, is it? Wait. Okay, well we got one thing, so that's good. Two things. Where was this? No, I must be thinking of the other card again. The cardigan! Wait a minute, something happened. I heard a twinkle. Ah. I didn't realize they saved in storage based on your points. No, wait, where was the star? Down here, yeah. We might have it. 
beautiful. Another- what? Same pattern as before, right? Is this the first card again? I'm confused. Okay, we're done. Wow, there was like two backed up. That's weird. Anyway, so this is either Lemmy or Ludwig. Yeah, my seal though. It's terrible. I was sitting on my foot and now it's asleep. Cool story, but yeah, it's... It's mine and I'm feeling it now, yeah. Such toil and strife we gamers live. Yeah, right, we don't know the half of anything. We live in times that are way too easy that it makes us have our own problems. Instead of real problems. But we're homeward bound from the Arctic round. Rolling down to old Maui. Do you think the Koopalings sing sea shanties? They should. They're welcome anytime. I like that one, rolling down to Old Maui. It's like, it was, I think there's a little bit of that in punk music, that's why I like it so much. The gang vocals, man. It's just a bunch of dudes in, in hardship, like, like so. Everybody in unison, feeling the same pain, and then you just belt it out. It doesn't matter if you can sing or not. Your voice gets lost in the mix and it adds to it, and that's how you have gang vocals. I'm dead. Such harsh times. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Being dumb. Get out of here, Bo. Go away. I mean, come back. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Uh, do we want anything? Go big. We're a world seven pound from the Arctic round. Although sometimes it sounds like it says realm. Both would be cool. That David Coffin guy who sings all those sea shanties, man. See, that's an, a cool old dude. People have skills and they're cool. And then there's people like me. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's kind of part of the reason why I was going back to what I was saying. I don't ever give out my channel name in the public arenas that I so often frequent. Because I don't want them to know. You know that feeling that you got as a kid when you would go over your friend's house and their parents? They just command that respect, you know? Like you, There's just something bubbling inside of you where you're like, you know, you better be on your best behavior. You don't want to be like on their bad side because you respect them. Lemmy, it's you, huh? Don't you dare be. I like it. I like your balls, sir. Yeah, well, we got it done. I just realized they make the same fly away noise as the ships when you fail. Limited sound clips much? What does this guy look like? He better have an arctic robe. Oh, he has a walrus of, a, of his own. Yeah, okay. Kind of very Viking-like, fitting for the Arctic realm. Rolling down to old Maui, me boy. All right, we're done. Uh, pea finger. Hmm. Ah, oh, yes, the cool jazzy themes. DJ Jazzy Piranha. That was so dumb. God. Screen wrapping, though. This stage, I remember actually being a headache, though. Maybe the Arctic round was better. Who knows, but we're going in a pipe. We're going sideways and then we're going up again. Has anybody ever rapped to this beat? Oh, you choose poorly. I wonder if this song originated just because somebody was beatboxing it. 
But that wouldn't explain Mario Bros. 1 that did not have the drums. That's a weird thing to think about. Any sound that you hear can become musical. If given to the right... Put in the right hands, I guess. Uh, is it this one? No. Nah. Forget everything. It's all over. I really suck. But there might still be a way. There might still be a way. Or maybe not, cause I don't know. Me! Forgot about him! What a Weisenheimer. That is one cool tune. That's like trading stocks, man. You got the GameStop stocks in the news recently. I don't really fully understand what's going on there, but I mean, good for everybody who likes to play with virtual money. That becomes real money somehow, because it's all a game! Somebody made it up and we're all just victim to it. So stupid. I don't like very much about life. But we're playing Mario. And I like that very much. It is weird, though, when you think about it all, you know? Just... Once upon a time... Nah, actually, all times were bad in some manner or another, aren't they? Like the sea shanty times. People made it to, like, 30, and then they died of scurvy or something. <laughs> is that really a good life? Toil and strife in the open seas when it's freezing out. But it built integrity, you know? Like, what are we doing now? Playing Mario for how many times have we played this game? Well, apparently not much, based on both my skill, lack of memory, and lack of ability to understand how long the invincibility frames last for. 7-1, man, are we really going to lose all 49 remaining lives to it? Getting a little irritated. Kind of want to be done. It's just this world, though. It has some cool levels to it, though. I know this is the one that has, like, two star runs in it. At least one. Well, yeah, no, because there's two. There's the one on the little muncher guys, and then there's the one everybody remembers in the grassy land. Just waiting to die on that guy, man. I do greatly wonder that, though, all the time. It's like, what... What would you be, any of us, what would any of us be in a different time period? God, you forget about the turtle? Or what? Um, I don't know, man. At this point, I fail. I'm not doing it. I might come back to it, but at this point, I'm moving forward. I've died way too much. What? Oh, just rub it in, will you, Mr. N card? We don't need it anyway. Let's go to the toad house. We've got items. Man, why did I get to be such crap at this game? I mean, sure, it is a valid excuse. If you haven't played the full thing in over a decade or so, then sure, you're gonna suck, but... It's still not an excuse. Not when the internet exists. I was actually just having a conversation with somebody about that recently. Like, if, I, if ever you watch a movie or something that took place in the 80s or earlier... Like, the fact that if you were going out to a bar and you wanted somebody to meet up, they used to have phone booths, or like a phone in the back with a phone book. And that's how you would have to contact whoever it was that was supposed to be meeting you. None of this cell phone stuff. Like, now you just shoot them a text and hope that they respond or something. Or call them on the cell phone, which is the better purpose, I guess. But, yeah, like the phone booth in the back, or the, the book in the back. Like, Home Alone has that. Remember the Home Alone mom? She's, like, frantically flipping through the phone book and using the pay phone just to try to get back to her son. Like, obviously, it's terrible for stuff like that. Cell phones are a godsend in that regard. But I don't know, man. 
I think what I'm getting at is I would absolutely love to see how I would be as a person if, without all of these electronic addictions. No video games. I did something else with my time growing up. And no cell phone today. No internet, even. Because I feel like for all the good it brings, it also brings a lot of bad. And I don't know... I think at that point it comes down to... your personal drive and motivation and also... What's the thing? What's the word for, like... resisting temptation that people have? Responsibility? Priorities? I don't know. Like, really, what it boils down to is, like, when are you gonna grow up, kind of? Oh, here we go, Star Run! Ooh, I don't know. Ah! It's over. That's the thing that you don't see in Mario Maker, though, the ability to program a question mark block to only shoot out a star if you currently have a star. That hasn't happened yet. I love the background music to this. Again, like, I enjoy it now, because the Mario All-Stars version is still that same old crappy one. to fool you. Uh, okay. Wait, this is both of them, right? Yeah! Don't be going left! Uh. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, down the hole. Man! I mean, at this point, I think I might use Warp Whistles for the All-Stars version. Cool to kind of see the changes in every little screen. And of course, it seems like the trend is I play a little bit better when it comes to that, because I got the practice in here in the failing session, apparently. Alright, we got it. Definitely a pretty neat stage mechanic, though. One of the more memorable ones, I suppose. And there's one more somewhere. That, that dash four, that's the frog suit one. You always want to hold on to at least one of them. I don't remember what this is. Oh, this one. Remember in the randomizer? Seriously? On the little turtles now? But anyway, this stage in the randomizer was a headache. Uh, we, I have plenty of leaves. Yeah. This is nothing. But in the randomizer, the boss bass, the big fish was in here. It's like you would kill him, go up the pipe, and then he'd be back. But normally, this stage isn't really that hard at all. Although, do I remember where the invisible blocks are? That's the other thing. Like these pipes. One of them is correct, the other two are wrong. This is wrong. It's the middle one, right? Yeah, now that we have the tail, we can bypass the rest of this garbage. If... Okay, we got a squat, running squat. Why? I'm losing the patience. I can feel the anger sharks coming, and my own failure here. Switch Pro Controller, why does your diagonal not work? Am I wrong in that there is no diagonal input? I guess so, because down worked. Okay, thank god I made that at least. One up. Down the pipe, we're not done with the tail, we got the fly, thank god! Yes! Just barely got it. Okay. Breathe. Or not. What's in this house? Oh, 
Ah, Tanook. What's that weird thing? Papa Canooch. Nah, it's just like not a real thing, I don't think. I don't know. Ah, yeah, you can't ever smile, can you, Mr. Mushroom? Hard times, I, I feel you. 7 4. I'm not even gonna bring the frog because we know the trend in here. Quite often I die for stupid reasons, and that might happen here because I'm dumb. In which case we will then use the frog suit and try to avoid the grandma fish. With their weird hair and their massive lips. <laughs> I don't know who. So dumb. Blooper. Blooper? Where did that ever come, that term for, uh... The gag reels of films, when the lines are wrong and stuff. I can't even get my sentences right. Ah, uh, felt good, thank you. Always wanted to feel what a fish felt like on my foot. Anybody ever get stung by a jellyfish? And subsequently, did anybody ever pee on you afterward? Like that Friends episode. I don't think I got stung by a jellyfish. Weird things have happened in the ocean, though. You ever get knocked over by a wave and then not remember where up is? Like you start to swim up, but you're actually going down, and then you get that panic. That is kind of scary. Hey, we got our lives back. Does it make up for the fact that we died that much? No. But you can pretend. Hey, we didn't need the frog suit after all. Oh yeah, Piranha George. Or as a muncher, right? Uh, let's see, this is a, is this the star run? You gotta jump big. If you don't jump big, you're a dope. Coolest piranha boss. Is it Paper Mario or Yoshi's Island? I don't know, they're both kind of neat. The introduction of the piranha plant boss in Yoshi's Island, though, that music is pretty awesome. We're singing songs, taking hits like a dope. Oh, that's right, these are like Hammer Bros stages. A pee wing? Where are you gonna put that finger, Mr. P? I mean, I guess it's a good item. Oh, yeah! Number three or number four? Three. No, it's four. Grayscale P switch. Crap, where's the door? The upward door was the correct door, but there's a way to get a leaf, which is what we need. I don't remember anything anymore. I know it's up in this room, but we need a leaf first. There it is, I think. Well, there's that. That's an exit pipe. Who needs a flower? We need to fly, sir. Oh, wait, can you make that? No. Whatever, for the best. Let's just bring a leaf in here. The whistle is now at the forefront, which is good. I guess. I mean, it really doesn't matter where it is. Alright. That's right. The top door is what I needed to go in to get the leaf, and then it dumps you out into the pipe, and then you have the leaf for this. I get it now. The memory now returns when it's useless. And there it is. That's the thing you gotta keep in mind, though. People who are really good at games, to the point that they do recordings and speedruns and stuff, like, you gotta remember they play it all the time, so they refresh their memory at all times. That's really all it is. It's like, you were never really good at this game, you just played it so much that you got good at it. 
But then the second you put it down for like 20 years, you suck. And that's that. We're screen rapping. This stage. The question mark elevators. I don't know. Do I need it? I just know falling sucks. It kind of goes without saying, I suppose. Wow, what? Remember that thing about memory? Here we have ourselves another situation where I don't remember. So it's supposed to bring the up arrow all the way up. Cue the teachers with their sarcasm from childhood times. Well, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. Anybody have, ever have really embarrassing situations in front of a teacher? I remember in eighth grade uh, chemistry or something, whatever, it was just science, we were doing something. He made explicitly clear that for when we poured the one thing into the other thing, we had to like siphon it and do like this weird special pour thing. And so I was doing it for the part that didn't matter. I think I literally was putting like sugar or salt into water and I was trying to like siphon it to be careful, but we weren't even at the dangerous part yet. And I was doing it in front of them because I don't know, we, we, we didn't even know like how to begin what we were supposed to do. You know, sometimes they give you instructions for stuff and you just, it goes over your head. You miss like how you were supposed to begin the thing. So then you don't do anything for a while. So yeah, he came around. He's like, are you guys having trouble getting started? And then, like, I started to siphon the salt into the water or something. And he was like, may I ask what it is that you're doing? And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> and then he got us started. I don't know. Still stands out in my memory, the cringe moments. Common sense, how it's so... It's an elusive thing sometimes. So many moments like that, too. The embarrassment that you feel again and again every time you remember it. Ah, speaking of star runs. Ah, oh, they had to make that one tile too low. That's gonna be a problem. That stop on the pipe and that one too. Yeah, we're done. Can we just pull it? I had it. Why did I pull back? Look at how many coins I have though. 98. That was a good year. Can we go back to that, please? You gotta, you gotta go left all the time. Well, what's in the little box? Okay. That's gonna... That was stupid. I apologize for everything that has happened since, like, World 2. Things are starting to fall apart too much, man, and I don't like it very much. Oh, maybe the Super Nintendo version's easier. Kinda doubt it. It probably doesn't have the edge clipping on the sides, though. It's that jump! Well, I keep doing it and hitting the point. If I had the mushroom, I would've had it. I would've taken the hit and still been okay. Well, I guess speaking of embarrassment, too. Here we have another shining example. Ah, I hit the frickin' roof, dude! Punching it! Punching the wall! I want to, but... 
blow the whistle and say goodbye? No. Spring the mushroom. Now watch me do it flawless this time, not take a hit, didn't even need the mush. Cause that's just how the cookie crumbles. Freaking cookie. Tastes like crap. On the stage where you're invincible for the majority of them. You die the most. Thanks a lot of times. He's gonna mess me up. I'm gonna stab him in his face. Stupid star man, stupid star man, stupid. I did it! See, didn't even need the marsh. World 7, I hate you even though your map music is quite jazzy and cool. <sighs> Do we dare? What is this place? This is pipe land, so I guess this makes sense. Ah, yeah, the crafty jumps. Yeah, look at that, dancing on the edge. Ah! Leftward moving. I've had it about up to here with the leftward moving crap. When it comes to Mario World, that's definitely not gonna be one video, man. I don't know why I'm bothering to do that with this one. Okay. Oh, nuts. Ah! Forgot about him and his stupid fire spitting. Man, we were doing all right, too. Thought I was gonna pull something good for once. Ah. Uh, I don't want to ever waste the good stuff. That's the problem here. We could skip it and see what's in the toad house. And then we're forced to do it regardless. Hey, alright. It's not going to be effective in this stage. Fire flower would be, though. Frog. Pea. Peas double as leaves. It's just a way to cheat. I don't think a pea would really be effective in this stage either, though, because that pipe goes up through the ceiling. The stupid crap. Hammer suit would be good for this stage. There's a made much better star run than before. Oh, wasn't sure about that hit. Alright, Fire Joe. Where is he? Oh yeah, that's crap again. Okay. Spit your balls, thank you. Get yeah. oh, what? That doesn't kill him? Man! All the things that we forget. Whatever, we still have 50 lives, we can still do it. World 8 is no problem. World 8's a breeze, because you always warp to it, and that's where you get the most practice. But it's all this other random crap nonsense. I remember this stage, it's a giant maze where you have to kick blocks and be real dumb. There's a secret to this place, though, besides just finding the way to the exit, I think. Who's your favorite Koopaling? I like Lemmy. He's pretty cool. You know, I was talking about playing the Sonic games. I'm, I have far less practice with Sonic than I do with Mario, so... Giving this sad display of affairs, I don't know if I should record the Sonic games. Sonic 2 I could do. But I start to lose interest in that game when it comes to Mystic Cave and Oil Ocean. Like, it just starts to go downhill from there. And Sonic 1... I know a lot of people like Spring Yard Zone, but I don't know if I really do or not. 
The music is all right. This, that's another one. Like, once you're practiced at it, then it's fine. But I feel like Sonic is... Oh, yeah, this fortress. This one is often believed to be the toughest in the game. Yeah, I was going to say, Sonic is less forgiving than Mario. Because the screen flies and you... If you don't know the enemies are going to be there, you're losing all your rings and the next thing you know you're dead. Whereas here, it's kind of slow-paced and you can... gauge your move before you do it. All right. I'm pulling this off, man. I don't care. Ah, he doesn't come. I'm a little bit too close to his home, I see. Okay. All right, we gotta make him dance. Get down here, go back. Go, go, no plants. Well, I'm surprised there wasn't a plant in that pipe. Not the waffles. I thought that was it. I forgot about this part. Dang it. Ah. Yeah, I mean, that is a tough fortress, too. Please... okay. I don't know, I think the World 6 one was a little harder than that. Well, I don't know. Almost there. We did it. We skipped one of the stages. That end card is still back there. What is this? I don't remember. Oh, yeah. Ah, I thought I had it. Hammer suit would be good for this too, I think. On the end screen, it shows him in hammer suit for this world, doesn't it? In a little like postcard thing. Uh, I read somewhere that you go down the left pipe and you can find a hammer suit somewhere else in World Seven. I think it was this one, but I don't know. It doesn't matter. We still have the one. Uh, yeah, of course he's a piranha. Alright, we got it. What is this, Ludwig? Yeah, it's gotta be. Ludwig and then we're doing Bowser. This airship I should know because I just recently made a course that models this airship, at least the first half of it, in Mario Maker. So yeah, the big run and jump over the wheelie things. The two flames donut block. Oh no, I used a donut block because there's none of those. And then the downward thing to the fire flower. Which is a mushroom. And this, and then like, after this section I deviated and did my own thing, so... Really? God, man! See, it's never a good thing when you play a game and it starts off happy, but then you leave. By the time you shut it off and you beat it, all you want to do is stab yourself in the forehead. It's probably not a good thing. But that's, see, that's the perfectionism and the unwillingness to forgive myself for sucking. Because somebody else out there doesn't forgive me either. And that's what it's all about. All it takes is that one person to be really irritated with it. And then there you go. It's like, I know you can't please everybody all the time. But something all my life has told me that you gotta at least try to. I used to get really mad as a kid if I was failing at stuff. I know I've said the basketball story. You know, and like you're just trying to shoot a couple baskets by yourself, get some practice in, but you keep missing, like stuff that's easy too, stuff that you know you've made before. And then you start doing that mind trick thing where you're like, if I don't make this shot, that means I'm a failure at life and I'm never going to amount to anything. And then you miss the shot and you're like, see, see, I told you. You get all worked up about it. Oh yeah, Ludwig, don't you dare, man. Thank God. World 
old seven man pissing me off. But all right, we're back. We're home free. Homeward bound to old Maui. Look at this dude, he's the Viking. <laughs> the mustache. Your world sucks, sir, but I like the stash you got going on. This makes me want to go to medieval times and just... Ha ha ha, king of the Koopa. Bite it into some turkey. And the lady comes around, like, you want some soda? Boy, do I ever. We could use the whistle now. I guess now would be a time to use it. Nah, let's just go. Tanks. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Hey, speaking of happy, happy, joy, story, Ren, joy, story, Ren and Stimpy. Uh, Billy West. I was recently looking into stuff like him. Because I was watching Doug. Remember, wasn't I talking about that in some video? It was another Mario 2 video or something, right? And I found out that he was the voice of Doug and also Roger Klotz. You know, the bully from Doug? Nickelodeon's Doug. And I was looking into what other voices he's done. And he does both Ren and Stimpy. And, uh... A really, really spot-on impression of Larry Fine from The Three Stooges, which is basically, uh... Stimpy. Like, if you listen to Stimpy's character voice, it's Larry Fine. Yeah, I guess maybe a lot of people knew who Billy West was, but I never... even really took the time to look into it until... just the random thought, you know? It was like, who did the voice of Doug? And then you fall into that rabbit hole. It's always kind of neat, though, but it just goes to show how little... Uh, attention, I guess, voice actors get. Like, unless you're a talent seeker specifically looking for guys, you wouldn't ever know. I think maybe the most popular cartoon voice character, like besides Mel Blanc, who did Bugs Bunny and stuff, would be Rob Paulson, right? The guy who did Raphael and, uh, Pinky from Pinky and the Brain. Among us, a whole bunch of others, Animaniacs characters. Like, as far as 90s kids in the Nicktoons, he's probably... Man, what the heck, dude? Alright. Well, that's something to be said, too. Again, going back to when I was a kid. I think I did used to try to use a star here, because... Well, uh, star is kind of useless. Auto scrollers. Whatever. But I hated this part of World 8. I just wanted to get to the, the normal part. I hated the tank, I hated the submarine, and the flying airship. It was so hard back then. I mean, it is the last world. It's gonna test you for all you got before you can actually get to the main world itself. It's really not so bad, just like anything once you know it. Oh yeah, that Billy West guy's the Futurama voice or something. Never really watched that one though. Who's the boss here? This is a boom boom, isn't it? Or is it another hammer, bro? Well, I'm about to find out, I guess. Alright, nothing stupid, please. Nothing nasty now. There we go, got it. Once you get the first hop, it's not so bad. Alright, the first two that are annoying when you're a child in the early 90s. They're done. We got the hardest one, though. And the hand stages. And we get one. I like all the hand stages. I'm gonna do them all. I don't care. 
See, that's the kind of boom boom mistake when you you make your jump and you clip their face. Uh We're home free though. It's just let's get it done. That's, we're in that mode. There's something over here though. I know there's a power up. There it is. I mean, for three free leaves, why would you not do the hand stages? Another one though, look at all these grayscale bridges. I'm pretty sure it looks entirely different on the All Stars version. I don't know what's with me in the grays. I guess it just makes the other colors pop out and it. Oh, maybe it is gray. I don't know. I'd have to play. We'll, we'll see eventually. Though after this display of things, I don't know if I can record the other version immediately after this. Shake it off, you know. I don't remember getting this mad playing Mario 3 before. Doing alright now, though. Just doing the hand stuff. The fish bridge is always easy. And once you beat this thing... I don't know, though. Without a leaf. The leaf helps so much. Also, jumping helps. <laughs> Whatever. Remedy the issue immediately. I am going to use a P glove for 8 1 just because it makes it easier. But it's fun to do legitimately, too. I am kind of excited about Mario World. Like, that's one I truly haven't played in, like, two decades. And I don't know why, because I think I like it better than this game. It's kind of hard to choose, but... It's Yellow Yoshi, man. Yeah, I was reading. That's another one. I think in, in my searching of looking up maps, just looking at the Mario maps, and when I was making that video trying to single out particular stages as which ones had the most replay value. Ah, oh, this is the boom boom you really don't want to choke on. Ah, right, we got through it. The rest of this world is a joke. Um... One of the sites, I think it was the, that cutting room, right? Where they have all the beta props. Yeah, trick up here. Anybody doesn't know for some reason. You can get that without the P thing, I think. It's just a little bit harder to get your run built up. And then there's this pipe up here. Whoa! How the heck did I phase through that thing? Whatever, we got 50 lives again, we're good. Like I said, this is easy from here forward. But this stage is notorious for that final jump over these guys. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, I think it was actually that one. Or this one, yeah. Whatever, and then one... Hey, we actually get a chance at triple mushrooms. Oh, it's because I skipped 7-1. Because, yeah, normally you wouldn't ever get the chance to get that third card. Because it's just a fortress after this. What was I saying? I don't remember now. Oh, yeah, the cutting room floor or whatever. Or the, whatever that site is. They were saying that Mario World was rushed. And just kind of like chopped together. I don't know, it doesn't feel that way. But I don't know. I was a kid at the time. I don't know what the history was. Ah, oh, really? I 
I think the frustration level with this game is greater than that of Mario World. Because here, you're locked into that same stage. Like you're not going anywhere else but there. You can't go back to previous stages like you can in Mario World. Like, you lose your power-ups, you just go back to the top secret area. Or if you don't want to do it, try a different route. Like, eventually, at one point, yeah, you are going to be forced to pee. Again! What the hell is going on here? Whatever. I remember being stuck on the World 7 Fortress in Mario World for quite some time. And it took me years to figure out how to get to the, the side fortress in uh, Bowser's Valley or whatever. That leads to the back door of his castle. It was like the final thing I ever discovered in Mario World. Okay. Good. Nope. Oh well. We got the one up. We're back at 50 lives again. Now the fortress! It's the one with all the bricks and you use the tail to... Yeah, shouldn't be too bad. We have a tail going into it. But the stupid waffles. Man, I'm, I'm just rushing to get done. Like, get me to Bowser's castle so I can stop being mad, please. Uh. Beyond the H. No, you need a leaf here too, don't you? No, wait, no, yeah, it's right here. Get out of my way, you nimrod. Leaf, now don't be stupid. Break the bricks, get the star, blitz it, hit the P switch, and we're golden. Yeah. tank and then it's Bowser's castle which is not really too bad like dying in Bowser's castle is not really a big deal if it happens because the stage is fun enough where it's like you're going to crud well that was an ass stink and then you just do it again but these other ones there's no forgiveness we did it yay realize how many items I have that's what happens though you are always at least me I'm always too afraid to use like the tanuki suits and like oh I should save it for something better well I should save it and then you get to the end it's like yeah you saved it you never used it yeah, it's definitely turned kind of rough towards the end Apologize for the horrible playing here. And the mood that it brought. I mean, ending with 50 lives is still alright. Maybe I do get mad a little too easy, I don't know. I remember as a kid, there was once a... I think my mom or something thought that I might have anger issues that I needed help, needed to go see somebody for or something. 
Well, it really is just that perfectionism thing where it's like you just, any, the slightest failure, you just cannot accept it. Anyway, let's see if we can pull this off. Hammer suit. Why did I pull back? Why did I jump? You just run. Oh my god, dude. Whatever. Well, now we know for the All-Stars variant if that ever comes to be. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, infinite one up. And now the donut hops. These are always fun. I don't know, I like this room of Bowser's Castle. So much for the hammer ending. Now, there's the white clip, though, through the door. I don't know if he caught it. How his red all turned to white. I don't know what's with me pulling back and tapping left so much. Tanuki? Alright, don't jump! That's all we had to do. The waffles are still gonna get me, although I can crush them now. I don't know how much room I have to do it, though. Yeah. I can clip through this wall. Ah, well, with the diagonal presses that I apparently don't remember how to do. I guess there's that with this game, too. The two special suits that are so easy to lose if you suck or make a stupid mistake. And then you're punished for it because it's like you don't get any of the secret cool stuff. You don't get to use it. Whereas Mario World, if you lose the cape, you'll typically find another one. So, like, the bummer feeling doesn't stay forever. Anyway, cool music time! interrupted a lot. See how it sounds in the All-Stars version where that doesn't happen? That other route to Bowser, he has less bricks. Like these two bottom ones, won't they? Oh no, that's not it. I mean, she says the same thing, right? Regardless of how you finish. So taking a hit here doesn't matter, really. There it is. I'm just out of habit, I hold up. Just, like I was saying, that Game Genie code that soft locks you on the pause screen here. Unless you do hold up at the doorway. We did it. <laughs> oh, it's the same sprite as Mario, too. Forgot about that, even. Ha ha ha, just kidding, bye bye. Best ending in the world. Man, that was rough towards the end. I apologize, but we did it. And, uh... I will do the All-Stars version. I don't know if it's gonna be with warps or not. I don't know how soon after this video it's gonna be done, because... At least I got the practice in. We got all the sucking out of the way here, hopefully. Cool music, though, and interesting sprites on this screen that you don't see anywhere else in the game. Like that frog right there. I never see that, really. I don't think. Well, that one, definitely, that swimming animation. And that laughing Koopa. Or the sideways Goomba. It's kind of ridiculous. And the rest of this is pretty normal, I think. But there you go, that's Mario 3, everybody's favorite Mario game. And, uh, 
Not the best display of things, but we got through it. And I thank you if you made it this far. So we shall see you in the future for something else. And, uh, thanks again. Take care. See you around.